Well, hello and welcome back, my Battle Language Buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Battle Language Guy. And I'm going to do a Battle Language assessment of Cassidy Hutchinson uh, on her testimony about the January 6 events. A former aide told the January 6 committee that President Donald Trump launched at his security when an agent told him he could not head to Capitol Hill. According to Cassidy Hutchinson's testimony, the president was irate and told the Secret Service agent driving him, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. When the agent refused, Trump attempted to grab a hold of the steering wheel of the limousine driving him before placing his hand on the agent's clavicle, said Hutchinson. I'm going to do this body language assessment of every single emotional display on her testimony for educational purposes, and we can go along starting with this part. Turn now to what happened in the president's vehicle when the Secret Service told him he would not be going to the Capitol after his speech. 20%. Okay, the first thing that we notice right after, after, at the start is that the first reaction, the first emotional display is a slight turn of her eyes to her right, okay? In this case, her, her right side is our left, okay? She is turning her, her eyes to her right. That is uh, a display, uh, a very subtle display, that she is trying to paraphrase her words. It's, it's her creative side. It's indeed the creative side of the brain, but it could be that she wants to paraphrase or how to find the best words to, uh, to tell the story, okay? That's what, that, that's because what happens next is this. Tony proceeded to tell me that. Yeah, she begins to remember and recall the events uh, because her eyes, it's, it's right after they went to her right, become to go to her left that it's our memory side. We are trying to recall things from the past and, and, and then that's why, that's when our eyes are going to go a bit to our, our left, or going to turn to our left. When the president got in the beast, he was under the impression from Mr. Meadows. It's important to notice too that she must be nervous or a bit anxious because uh, her skin is very shiny, so she's sweating. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it could be natural nervousness or, or of sitting there and uh, giving out the testimony if it's just natural nervousness and no no signal yet of uh, of anything beyond that, okay? That the off-the-record movement to the Capitol was still possible and likely to happen, but that Bobby had more information. There's also that rapid blinking that she's showing, and it goes goes along with that sweating, rapid blinking. You know, the person is anxious. It's uh, regardless if the person is telling the truth or is concealing information, you know that these are signs that they are not comfortable at the moment. And if you are talking to someone, if you're having a conversation and you notice people like this, well, you have, make, have to make sure to find out why are they feeling like this? What is the uh, underlying emotion that is triggering this displays? Happened, but that Bobby had more information. Very quick, very quick tongue show. Okay, you have to remember that uh, tongue show is also um, a display when we are not when we are not agreeing what we just said. Okay, it could have that meaning. It could have only that uh, she has a uh, dry mouth, which is also a signal of anxiety, of nervousness. So in battle language, you cannot jump to conclusions with just one uh, signal because. Most signals have more than one meaning, so you have to stack them one over the other or one after another until you can reach solid conclusions. So, but it's important to notice that tongue show at that point. So once the president had gotten into the vehicle with Bobby, he thought that they were going... There's a very subtle eyes down in the air, okay, that which hasn't happened yet. It's important to just point out uh, those displays. The, that meaning, um, ice down has a lot of meanings. Could be the, the person could be ashamed. They could be uh, thinking about their answer. Uh, right now, we just point that display and save it for later because it could be useful later on. He thought that they were going up to the Capitol and when Bobby had relayed to him, we're not. We don't Notice that uh, she's saying, and when Bobby had relayed to him, 
we're not, you don't have the assets to do it. She is uh, denying something verbally and she at the same time is denied with her head. In this case, what she's saying with her words, with her words and her body language are saying the same thing. Okay, it will be different if she's saying, uh, affirming something and she denies with her head, there will be a contradiction. So at this, this moment, that instant, both her words, uh, she was saying, um, we're not, you don't have the assets. She's denying something. She's denying with her head at the same time. We're not, you don't have the assets to do it. It's not secure. We're going back to the West Wing. It's also important to uh, pay attention to the shoulders of the person. I'm going to play it, this in slow motion. Look at the, her shoulders and her chest. Now that it... Uh, like uh, grows, uh, you can see that it's moving because it, there's heavy, heavy breathing in there. There's also a sign of nervousness. You can see, uh, you can very well spot that uh, that shiny uh, forehead. She's she's uh, nervous about talking about this. She's really anxious, and there are going to be more displays of of that. The president had very strong, very angry response to that. Okay, when she says the president had a very strong, very angry response to that, she's got this uh, contempt uh, a, a smile, which is a half smile, which is a, just, just a half a smile with her left um, lip corner pulling to, to one side. Um, that is unmistakable. And she's also breaking eye contact at that moment. So we might think that she's actually remembering the moment and this could also reveal her feelings towards towards Trump. Maybe it's a it's a hint, but it is a contempt a smile. It's something that you cannot, uh, it's, it's very hard to miss. Response to that, um, Tony described him as being irate. So another display of heavy breathing. You can uh, notice her chest and her shoulders moving very deeply there is is it to spot and that's something that you should uh, learn to catch with the corner of your eyes not necessarily that you have to look at people's chest you know that that could be uncomfortable but you can learn to spot that with the corner of your eye the president said something to the effect of i'm the effing president uh, right before she is going to say the words i'm the effing president uh that she she's got she herself displays some anticipation because she opens her mouth and makes uh, a, a, a very short pause, but there is a pause in there. So she's a, she was also a bit um, resistant to say that sentence, okay? That's important to, to mention. We don't know why she was resistant to say that, but there was uh, a bit of anticipation to, to it because she opened her mouth for... Uh, maybe uh, a third of a second before saying that sentence. I'm the effing president. I'm the effing president. Take me up to the Capitol now. There's another display of dry mouth, uh, another um, tongue show. Again, she has just said, take me up to the Capitol now. Okay. You have to pay close attention to this uh, tongue displays. And link them to what the person just said, because in some occasions it can be that uh, the person is not that sure of what they are saying. So in this case, again, there's not one signal that can give you the whole picture or you cannot jump to conclusions with just one battle language signal. But we have to point out at which times does she show her tongue that that could that could uh, reveal a pattern that we don't know yet because we have seen it just twice now to which bobby responded sir we have to go back to the west wing the president what is that long pause and there's a very very quick uh, turn of her eyes to her creative side again just noting that not uh, not a meaning in itself but when she makes a long pause it's important to pay attention to what she's going to say next because she's making a pause for a reason the president reached up towards the front of the vehicle. To so she made a uh, she made a long pause right before uh, talking about the that moment when uh, Trump reached out 
okay, allegedly uh, reach out to the front of the vehicle, okay? That is important. She made a long pause. She had a couple doubts about that statement. Grab at the steering wheel. Again, she's uh, uh, narrating, this, telling the uh, re these recollections about that moment when this, uh, these actions of uh, Donald Trump inside the, the limousine, and she again shows uh, her tongue. Maybe it could be a dry mouth, but you're realizing that when she's um, speaking about or telling this very critical sentences, there is a tongue show attached to it, okay? I don't want to jump to conclusions just by this uh, battle language signal, but it it could also mean a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, because she is uh, revealing this and she knows, she must be aware that this is going to be a uh, very uh, spark a controversy. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm. Uh, at long last, she begins to use, uh, she's describing a physical action, so she's using her own body, her, her hands, to describe that action. That's why they call illustrator gestures. Uh, she is uh, using her hands to illustrate an action. At the same time, there's a hint of some kind of sadness on her face, not quite uh, complete sadness, but there's, there's a hint of that emotion in the air. Said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. Uh, the, uh, right here, I had my doubts when I uh, spotted this one, this, uh, this signal. I think I see a subtle smirk in there. Like when you have to control your, uh, your desire to, to laugh or to smile, there's a subtle sort of smirk. I could be wrong because, uh, well, I, I don't have enough ingredients on her face to just uh, make that assertion. I don't know if you have any opinion about this gesture. I'd be glad to read about it in, in the comments. So far, we are just doing an assessment of body language signal, signals for educational purposes. We haven't been able to reach any conclusion yet. Uh, there are too few so far to reach any solid conclusion. So we keep stacking them with the next one. Back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then... There's another long pause. It's a very brief pause, but it, we, we call it long because it's longer than the ones that we have seen so far. And there's another eyes down when she says, right as she says, let's see what she says right after that. Mr. Trump then used his free hand. She is still uh, making, uh, giving recollections of physical actions from Trump and they're, they're also very strong emotional displays. I see it is strong because maybe they're not that strong for you, but they're strong for her, for what we have seen so far in her, uh, her general battle language, how she, how she talks. Her voice tone, for example, hasn't changed a bit all over the, uh, the, uh, the what we have seen so far. So this sort of changes in rhythm of her words or her facial expressions are, are, are quite relevant to lunge towards Bobby Angle and there's another uh, uh, illustrator here when she is going to talk about the moment that Trump uh, reached out for the for the uh, this um, this person's clavicle or neck but the movement the gesture that she does is more like a protective gesture toward her, towards herself okay that's more a defensive gesture maybe she's she, is, she was afraid at the moment. She was uh, worried at the moment. She is recalling that worry that she felt at that moment. And that's why she is more like covering her own neck. Oh, and Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicle. Okay, this is important. Uh, this is, um, Renato had recounted the story to me. Uh, that's, that's, that's the... You, you know that uh, I, don't, I, I don't want to say that because that's not battle language, but we're listening to something very, that sounds a lot like hearsay. Someone told the story to her and then she is recalling what that person, she is recounting what that person told to her and that's why she's uh, reaching out to her neck 
uh, because she is he had motion towards his clavicles so she is recalling the motion that this person did to his uh, neck so she's doing the same to her neck but in, uh, at the same time it could be you know a bit lost in battle language translation we don't know well we that's what we got so far in all this um, all this testimony I think the most relevant part most interesting part or most solid was when she makes that uh, she displays that contempt smile very easy to to spot and very representative I think of her true feelings to uh, well in this case she was talking about Donald Trump I think that's what her feelings are towards him this is just an educational exercise just to be able to learn to spot this body language signals there's a lot more content if you know any other clip of Cassidy Hutchinson of this case of the January uh, 6 riots just let me know in the comments and just let me know through my uh, social media accounts and I will take a look at them and we'll keep building uh, the, um, the battle language signals to reach a more solid conclusions about this testimony I hope that you have learned something new today and I hope to uh, you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my battle language analysis and tips